Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. There has been several lawsuits over the course of the last several years regarding different things that veterans have had to deal with, such as the bad earplugs uh, while you served uh, with 3M, uh, or maybe it was the contaminated water. Here's another one. Veterans have now filed a class action suit, and I wanted to share it with you here today. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. The two asks are really look. Hit the thumbs up. Let the video run. Those two things help to put this into the hands of others. This might uh, be something that you can jump in on. And if if it is, great. If not, maybe one of our brothers or sisters uh, can. So you hitting the thumbs up, letting the video run helps to push the information out. If you want to support the channel in other ways, consider being a member. Thank you so much to all you members. I truly appreciate your support. All right, so with that, I found this on military.com. It came out uh, not very long ago, November 5th, 2024, uh, and I'm sharing it with you here today. All right, veterans file class action suit over medical retirements for burn pit related illnesses. Two veterans have filed a class action lawsuit against the Army for refusing to classify illnesses linked to burn pit exposure as combat related. Uh, a designation that would make their medical retirement pay taps free. S uh, retired Sergeant First Class Kyle Smoke and retired Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer, uh, I'm not sure, McIntyre, uh, or McIntyre. There you go. Huh. McIntyre filed suit October 15th in the U.S. court. Uh, there in uh, Washington, D.C., over the retirements they were awarded after being exposed to burn pits during their deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. Afghanistan. In McIntyre's case, uh, according to the court documents, Smoke has debilitating asthma that rendered him unfit for duty, while McIntyre was diagnosed with breast cancer that has spread to her liver and lymph nodes. Both conditions are considered by the Department of Veterans Affairs to be caused by exposure to burn pits. In Smoke's case, this is a huge, huge deal. Uh, if they win this, this is going to be big. So stick with me here. In Smoke's, and I get what they're saying. If you're going to get out under a uh, for a combat-related uh, 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 retirement, right? Combat-related uh, disability. Um, and the VA is saying that it's service connected, then isn't it service connected? In Smoke's case, the Army, the Army's informal physical evaluation board or PEB ruled that the soldier should be medically retired for his condition, but that the illness was not the result of a combat related injury. If you went to combat, and you're surrounded by, or you're next to a burn pit, and you're dealing with it, and then you get a service-connected presumptive condition because of it, wouldn't you think it's combat-related? That totally makes sense, and I'm so glad that they are bringing this up because this is going to be huge. And what a, what a, I would predict they're, they are going to win uh, this lawsuit. A formal board disagreed, saying that the disability was combat-related, caused by an uh, caused by an instrumentally in instrumentality of war. I don't know. The burn pits that were used in wartime locations were properly, or were proper refuse disposal was a challenge. A board member disagreed with that assessment and a higher adjudicating body known as the Army Physical Disability Agency, or PDA, ruled that Smoke's illness rated medical retirement, but that it was not combat-related. The Army later approved Smoke's asthma claim for combat-related special compensation, uh, so CRSC, uh, saying the disease was a verified disability as combat-related due to uh, an instrument. I can't say it for some reason. Instrumental, instrumentality of war, according to documents. Nonetheless, Smoke receives regular medical retirement pay and must pay taxes on it. McIntyre retired from the Army after 19 years. Her informal uh, physical evaluation board concluded that her disease was service-connected, but not combat-related. 
the formal PEB upheld this conclusion despite her argument that her cancer was diagnosed in the line of duty in a combat zone. The PDA upheld that decision, concluding that burn pits don't automatically constitute an instrument of war. The soldiers argue the burn pits should be considered as wartime necessities, given that there were few other options for waste disposal in the combat zones. And they argued that those medically retired since passage of the PACT Act, 10,000 Army soldiers in fiscal 2022 alone should not be paying taxes on their benefits. This could be huge for folks. The Army uh, Physical Evaluation Board has uh, a uh, system, systemic practice and policy of denying combat-related findings for, mili for medical retirement purposes for unfitting PACT Act conditions on the basis that military burn pits do not qualify as an instrument of war, their attorneys wrote in court filings. The Army's practice of medically retiring soldiers for PACT Act conditions is contrary to the law, they added, and I agree. The Army's refusal to classify burn pits as instru instrumentalities of war during the disability evaluation systems process ignores that the Department of Defense instruction only defines military burn pits as defines military burn pits in context of combat, which is uniquely particular to the military. Uh, moving on here says National Veterans League Services Program Senior Managing Attorney Esther I don't know Leibfarth said in a statement uh, October 30th, burn pits were used in Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere to incinerate garbage generated at military installations overseas, including plastics, medical waste, and uh, industrial refuse. The PACT Act, signed into law in 2022, expanded health care and benefits for post-9-11 veterans exposed to the pits and other environmental hazards on those installations. It designated roughly two dozen diseases associated and associated illnesses as presumed to be connected with military service, paving the way for an effective for affected veterans to receive expedited health care and disability compensation. The attorneys cited the PACT Act as supporting their argument that the conditions are combat related and that the Defense Department instructions say that if a disability was incurred during any period of service as a result of injury or sickness caused by fumes, gases, or explosion of military ordnance, uh, vehicles, or material, the criteria for combat related is met. Perfect. The lawsuit seeks to uh, vacate the decisions of soldiers with PACT Act listed medical conditions who received medical retirement compensation, awarding them combat related tax free designations. Soldiers uh, who valiantly serve our nation should know that injuries sustained while serving are, uh, are covered fully by the benefits to which they are entitled. Emily Wexler, pro bono counsel at Sydney. Sidley Austin, a Chicago-based law firm, said in a statement, the Army did not respond to a request for comment uh, from uh, military.com. Historically, the Defense Department and the military services do not comment on ongoing litigation. Uh, with that, this again could be very huge, so let's keep an eye on this. Again, there is a um, class action suit, so uh, if this is something that you're interested in, I'd start doing some Google searches. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.